Top Gun Maverick, in a lot of ways, it's a great sequel to the original Top Gun, despite this film happening over three decades later. This is a movie I would highly recommend you check out because it is well worth your time. You know, when I had first heard about this film, I was a little bit concerned. You know why? Because sequels to movies that took place decades ago don't turn out to be very well. But my goodness, Top Gun Maverick was a film that not only I enjoyed, but I was entertained throughout its two hour runtime. So this sequel takes place in the modern day, obviously. Maverick, he's now an instructor. And so he has to lead a bunch of new recruits to do a very specialized mission. And basically that's an entire film. You know, I really enjoyed this movie for a lot of reasons. The performances, especially between Tom Cruise and Miles Teller, who ends up playing Rooster, who is the son of Goose. And I have to say the interactions between Maverick and Rooster were some of the best scenes in the movie. And you know what makes this a great film? Maverick is not disrespected in this movie. It could have went the other route where they focus on the recruits 100%. And Maverick is pushing the background, but thankfully that did not happen. You know, I'm glad they kept Maverick true in this film because they ain't tried to make him be this hot shot guy that he was in the original. And that is some good character development. He's supposed to be humble, especially after what happened in the original Top Gun. And you know, you see the family dynamic between Rooster and Maverick. And I really enjoyed that. And this is a movie that I thought it was going to be a complete disaster, but I'm glad I was wrong. And at the end of the day, this is a film that is probably one of the best movies I've seen so far this year. One thing I had really appreciated about this film was the aerial combat. It was done with practical effects, no CGI. I was like saying that is a great thing because a lot of today's movies has CGI in it. And another thing I wanted to point out is that Jennifer Connelly, she actually did a good job in her role as Penny. Now, granted, they tried to force this relationship between her and Mavit in the film, but for the most part, she did a good job. And speaking of Maverick, I'm glad they didn't disrespect his character. You know, in modern movies, they would go the opposite route and make Maverick like some kind of old man past his prime and try to live his glory days. We've seen films like that over the years. They turn out pretty bad. But now Maverick's the same guy he was 36 years ago. He's teaching these new recruits about, you know, dog fighting when it comes to the aerial combat. And, you know, he's a character that is well respected. Now, speaking of the recruits, I wish they all got more character development in this film. I mean, they're all right. Nobody's particularly bad in this movie. And Miles Teller playing Rooster, I felt like, this was the big film he needed for his film career. Sure, he starred in terrible films before in the past, such as Fantastic Four. But for the most part, I think he really needed this role to, you know, be in, you know, future movie roles. And another thing I want to point out that Fal Kilmer does return as Iceman in this film. But, you know, I kind of wish his role was expanded upon, you know, no spoilers. But it makes sense considering his health condition. Nonetheless, though, this is a film I highly enjoy. It's awesome. And this is a film that gladly they did not destroy with, you know, a hidden agenda or whatever. This is a great film, in my opinion. I'm giving this movie an AI 10. You know, this is a well-done film with no agendas or politics. Just imagine if they put that in this film. It would have been downright horrible. The story in this film is a mix of action and emotions. And even one particular scene in this film, I had teared up. You know what this sequel does real well? It respects the original Top Gun movie because of nostalgia. The opening of this film is similar to the original Top Gun movie. Nonetheless, though, while I wouldn't put this over the original 1986 film, this is still a great sequel in its own right. And that's my review of Top Gun Maverick. Okay, leave your comments down below in the section, and let me know what you think about this film if you have seen it. Alright, this is Slim Guy 172 saying, Peace out.